mysterious story. It appears that all of the creatures on this list also have the look or sound like they might not be human. It is our job to look over these videos and determine who had genuine encounters. Number 11. Because Matty Ann, a YouTuber, believes that something is discovered roaming around her backyard by her, she takes a camera and a high-powered spotlight and goes out to record it. When she goes outside, she no longer sees it, so she begins using her light to scan the yard to determine if it will move one more time. She discovers a distorted and misshapen shadow. It can be seen peeking out from at the back of a tree for a split second before darting back into the darkness. The shadow is too small for a human, and the head appears to be bald and formed strangely. What's strange is that the camera catches no features. Under the light, you should be able to discover more details if this was a human. Eventually, if the camera can pick up on the brown color of the tree, you'd expect the person at the back of it could as well. Instead, Matty Ann walks over a creature with a blank expression. But I don't believe that it was one of her pals, it could have been someone dressed in a costume with black mesh covering their faces. Number 10. So I'm hearing really weird noises outside and I'm kind of freaked out because it's late and they're really weird. Shadow of Joey, a YouTuber, makes up his mind to film a little video when he has been listening to unusual noises outside his window. He musters all of his resolve and forces himself to open the window while recording. This strange three-second sighting is what he discovers. When a shadowy figure scurries by his window on all fours, a loud warning call overfills the night. Despite the fact that this could be a wild species, the feet appear to be in the shape of shoes. This video was most likely created by a friend putting on all black clothing and obscuring their face. With that stated, it's possible that someone was possessed, or that the rake was taking on a human shape. Shadow of Joey prudently makes up his mind not to give chase to the thing in order to obtain more video proof, therefore we may have no idea the full tale. Number 9. For a long time, a giant white thing has been crawling around the yard of a YouTuber named Sands, and there is not anyone knowing what it is. This newest sighting occurs in broad daylight, and his camera is capable of capturing more detail than ever before. As you can see, the monster is not very large, around the size of the surrounding dog. And based on the dog's demeanor, I'd guess this is a real beast, not one of his friends dressed up. Please keep an eye on how it scrapes its head with its foot at an odd angle if you need additional confirmation that this isn't a person. That rapid kick would be impossible for a human to achieve. Despite the fact that I'd say this is a rabbit, I don't discover any ears and the legs bear a resemblance to a human when it walks. Let me know what kind of animal you think it is. Until I have a better explanation, I'm going to assume this is a humanoid of some form. Number 8. D-A-C-H-I-Y-T, a YouTuber, seems to be standing on the brink of an underground tunnel when something absolutely unforeseen runs up to him. <laughs> The true question is whether this is a prank from a buddy or a creature that was once human. The noise it produces sounds like someone attempting to form a statement, thus perhaps this person has gone insane or is under the influence of a possession. It seems that the tiny steps he takes are unnerving, and it's difficult to determine if he's doing them unintentionally or on purpose. Finally, in spite of the lack of light, its eyes glow in the dark. Despite the fact that I want to believe it's a hoax, the glowing red eyes suggest otherwise. Number 7. They recorded this video on Vancouver Island in Canada throughout the summer. A YouTuber named Mushmaster is on a trek when he encounters a massive humanoid thing that he still can't give an explanation 10 years later. Despite the fact that Mushmaster claimed that the creature was 7 feet tall and got up its hind legs to stare at him, by the time he began recording, it was crouched over and fleeing. <laughs> At first, even though I believed it was a bear, closer inspection reveals the upper torso of a human, particularly the shoulders. The way it walks away makes it bears resemblance to a human than a bear. Finally, the creature decides to leave Mushmaster alone in the woods, is curious about what he had just witnessed. Please tell me what you think based on the brief video I showed you. In more than a decade, there is not anyone that has been able to find a solution to this. 
Number 6. Cringy Parkour, a YouTuber, supposes that he listens to a scream from our in the mouth of a sewer pipe and gets up outside, unsure what to do. After that, he enters the pipe for about a half minute and encounters one of the most realistic looking creatures I've seen so far. What the? Hello? There is very little evidence to suggest that this video is a hoax. Despite the fact that you only look at it for a split second, the creature has glowing eyes and what seems to be long sharp teeth. The audio harmonizes with the video's overall timing, and the creature's yells echo at the top of their voice and in an accurate way when it pursues. Despite the fact that I'm hoping that this video is a hoax and that this is just one of his friends, something says to me that it's not. Number 5. It seems that LaxRebel225, a YouTuber, is playing a video game at home when he listens to something loud break through the front door. He's frantically searching from room to room when he listens to it making a ruckus one more time, this time coming from the kitchen. There is not anything that is to be discovered when he enters the kitchen. Instead, he listens to it from at the back of him one more time. And I don't know the reason why he keeps stomping his foot here. It is not effective if he's attempting to make the beast afraid away. Lax Rebel completes a full circuit around his house and returns to standing right outside the kitchen. He appears to have a bad sensation and pauses. <laughs> That's when he hears this uncanny noise filling his dwelling. The creature appears to speak something in a chittering language that sounds almost evilly laughable. After that, it returns to his house, closing the door at the back of it. Despite the fact that I'm thinking about something too much, the alien's speech seems incredibly high quality, almost too good for the average YouTuber to clip into their video using home equipment. As much as I hate to admit it, I believe this video is true based only on disturbing laughter. Nevertheless, I'd love to hear your thoughts after watching this video. I'm especially interested in hearing from folks who have worked in the field of audio engineering. <laughs> Number 4. It appears that this YouTube channel is devoted to tracking out the clover forest creature, a local legend. Two companions are exploring a wooded region where the previous sighting was reported when they notice what looks to be a pair of eyes peering at him from across a creek. Whoa, get out! Oh my god, that's it! I think so. At first, despite the fact that I thought it was one of their buddies putting on a mask with flashing red eyes, keep an eye on this next section and let me know what you think. Immediately, the eyes seem to disappear and then resurface. No, keep your light on it, keep your light on it! Leading me to believe that this monster is shutting and opening the eyes quickly. The clover forest creature soon wanders away and is never seen one more time. It's a shame they didn't have a high-powered spotlight with which to shine across the water and find an answer to the riddle once and for all. However, based on the 11 seconds of film I was able to present, share with me whether you believe this video is contrived or real. Number 3. C. Codane, a YouTuber, is discovering an ancient eerie tunnel with a group of buddies who are excited. They continue to run out because they believe they found something inside, however, there is not anything that is captured on video until their fourth and last effort. They first listen to it before it can be seen by them. In my perspective, despite the fact that it sounds a lot like the other rake vids, please share with me what you think. They go on at the tunnel's mouth when the creature moves slowly towards them, making terrible sounds the entire time. It appears that they plainly capture the thing on tape once and for all, but not without putting their own lives in danger first. What? And the screeching monster is all grey and gets up similar to a human. It's difficult to tell whether this was a friend or a true sewer mutant. Their excitement and disbelief sound genuine, at least in comparison to most other videos, therefore, I tend to assume that this was a real species they came across by chance. Number 2. When something large is heard running across their roof by two friends, one grabs hold of a camera and is courageous enough to venture out into the night. 
With his flashlight, he stares at the rooftop, and the beam hovers across the oversized pink head of a wild creature with no fur. Wait a minute. Hey! Despite the fact that he scales onto the roof to take a close look at the creature, it's gone by the time he gets there. He has no idea that it has tracked down him from a hidden vantage point the whole time. Where does it go? The crouching humanoid appears to be half the size of an average human. It looks at him with cold beady eyes that are low and close together as if he were a wild animal. When you zoom in, you'll notice that this is either CGI or a real creature. It seems that the skin is far too tight to function as a mask. It is believed that this is the rake, a light-colored mythological creature that strikes without warning. Please share with me what you think this is and if you believe this person was on the verge of becoming a goner. Number 1. David Rebordo, a YouTuber, listens to noises emerging from the attic and chooses to go up and investigate for himself. It seems that they're both far away from the source of the noise, and they're not making as if to hear anything. <laughs> Despite the fact that David films the upstairs for a while, he doesn't find much. He moves past the camera and begins to descend the ladder. The equipment suddenly makes a buzzing sound that is not heard in any other area of the movie. That's when the noisemaker emerges and comes dangerously close to making physical contact. <laughs> it's difficult to tell if this was a person or some kind of a ghostly ghoul. Even though the buzzing sounds leads me to believe that this was a paranormal disturbance, I predict that it could have been CGI, so share with me what you think. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every day. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of my other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy.